All right, guys, you're back with Jolly Bait Company today. We have a little bit of a different video for you guys. We're going to show you guys each one of our baits that we have and how we use it, how to rig it up, the, our favorite way to rig it up, and also a few clips of our pro staff and us fishing with it. Now, there are probably a lot of different companies out there that you guys enjoy to use and you think that they're the best plastics there is and you have the most confidence when fishing. But as a small company today, we're going to show you uh, why you should try us out and if you're looking for something new, uh, just, just give us a shot, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. First off, we're going to show you guys the bass colors that we have, so you can guys know our main colors that we have, but we also have a custom shop where you guys can see, uh, look through a bunch of different colors that you might want to try out, even if there's something that's kind of out of the ordinary, but you can still try them. But uh, our colors that we have are green pumpkin, watermelon, cinnamon purple, red bug, june bug, and black and blue now those are our main colors that we make and we keep those stocked at all times but we also have the custom shop like i said and here's a couple examples we got a chartreuse swirl with white in it that's some stick worm and then right here is the uh, green pumpkin and blue highlight and those are kind of just colors that people re request us to make or we'll just uh, decide to make one day and put up on the shop for you guys to try out all right now we're going to go ahead and uh, start off with the bass baits if you are a crappie fisherman, you can go ahead and skip ahead, and that'll be towards the end of the video. But first up, we've got the East Fork Action Worm. And this bait, I'll show you guys a close-up. Our pro staff really love this bait right here. Here it is in the watermelon color. And uh, the best way we probably use this, the way, best way I've used it and a lot of the pro staff is a drop shot. And it just brings out the action in it so much more than any other way to rig it up. But uh, it works great in a pond, lake, creek, wherever you're fishing at. But we'll go ahead and show you guys a couple clips. Kentucky. Little Kentucky. What was that on? Action worm. East Fork Action Worm. Good lord. Goodness. Look at that. Goodness, you guys. Chunk. Tank on the drop shot. I swapped over. Okay, I'm going to do that then. Get them untangled here. That's, that's a huge fish, baby. All right, next up we got the Nolan Ned. And this one right here is in black and blue. And there's not really a whole lot to say about a Ned rig. I mean, you can use it any other way, just like you would use a Ned rig. And uh, it's got maybe different texture than other companies, but other than that, you guys, if you used an Ed rig before, you know how it works. And you can hop it off the bottom, you could bed fish with it, just however you want. We've caught many a fish with this, and the plastic, they'll last for multiple fish, for sure. But these come in 10 a pack. Yep, and that's the Nolan Ned. Okay. Another one on the Jolly Bait Company, that's the Dead Ned, I believe. Can't little Ned rig. She had it wacky rigged. All right, next up for the bass baits, we have the Green River Grub. This is also one of our crappie baits, but we'll explain more of the crop, crappie bait back whenever we get to that. But we also have it in the bass colors because, I mean, some people like to fish in creeks for smaller bass, and these work great for that. And, I mean, the, these deers are two and a half inches long. They got great action. I like to just put them on a jig. But yeah, that'll be for the Green River Grub. We'll kind of explain that more with the crappie baits. But they also come in the bass baits as well. All right, next up we have the Cumberland Curly Tail. And this is our 7-inch worm. Here it is in the light color. We have a lot of people that like to use it in like a red color, red bug. Uh, I really like to use it in white. The best way to use it, I would say, for, for me personally, is a Texas rig. And just deep water in the summertime, These uh, the fish really like 
like these seven inch worms like this right here. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the seven inch Cumberland Curly Tail. Now we're gonna explain to you guys our three best sellers on the bass fishing side of things. And we're gonna start off with the Jolly Stick. And I mean, it's explained itself. There's a lot of stick worms out there and that's probably the most popular bait that people use. Uh, but ours right here, it's got a thinner profile than a lot of different uh, stick worms and it's got a five and a quarter inch length. And this one right here is in cinnamon purple, as you can see. But you could wacky rig it, Texas rig it, just about any way that you use a stick worm. Uh, there's been a lot of people catch fish with these and catch multiple fish with each one. So seven per pack is really a whole lot more whenever you're catching a lot of fish with each one. But yeah, that's the jolly stick. Oh, bait. Nice one. <laughs> nice. He's fat too. Look how fat he is. Oh yeah. You getting ready for pre-spawn? There we go. Little sunfish. On a wacky rig. There he is. Hey, big dude. Goodness. <laughs> Man, this Cinco is doing great. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a jolly stick now. Not just any old Cinco. Well, you know what? Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Awesome one. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. All right, next up, we got our most popular company bait right here. Little Baron Crawdad. It... It's definitely one of our best sellers and this right here is in red bug and it's custom designed the claws there's not another company that sells a crawl like this which is why it's so popular for us those are the claws right there there's the body you could definitely use this texas rigging which is what i use it most of the time we've had plenty of people win tournaments using it at the lake with jig trailers and stuff and sending us pictures of that but we got a few clips we'll show you guys of using it. It's definitely a bait you need to try out if you uh, like using crawls or just soft plastics in general, you definitely need to try these out. About a 15 inch smallmouth right there. This is probably gonna be my new favorite color, motor oil. Motor oil and the little band crawl. Yeah. There's one. Pulled him out of there. Little red eye. On the little bear and crawl. Okay. There he is. This may be one of the biggest I've ever caught on this creek. He's probably, he may be pushing over three pounds. That is a big, big smallmouth. I got him on the crawdad motor oil. I think it's going to be my new favorite cut. <laughs> this is a massive, massive smallmouth for this creek. Man. And last but not least on the bass fishing side of things, we have the South Fork Hugger Mite. And a lot of uh, big companies that sell Hugger Mites are a lot more expensive, but we sell 12 for pack and it's definitely an affordable price. Here it is in the green pumpkin. It's three inches long. And if you definitely fish creeks or rivers, this is definitely a bait you gotta pick up to try out. The fish, whenever I fish a creek, I've used a lot of different baits before. And these right here, just catch them like nothing else. And we've definitely got a lot of videos for you guys to see coming up of this right here. But if you need some more soft plastic to try out, you definitely should try out the Helgramite with Jolly Bait Company. So let's go ahead and show you the videos. What was this Helgramite? These things are fantastic. This is probably my favorite lure that I have found from these guys. Jolly Bait Helgramite, you can pick them up on their website. There's a 15 inch, 15 inch long. Yep, watermelon Helgramite. Thanks Jolly Bait Company, thanks. Great bait, great bait, love it. Man, it stays on the hook too. Ah, oh, love it, love it, love it. Hmm. 
nice. Ouch. What did, you, what did you sell? What did you catch on? That jolly bait, Hilgramite. Awesome. That is fantastic. There's another one. Stay on there. Another small, smally. Yeah, you get, you get hung up a lot using this with the hook sticking out, but it works. And one more thing I want to show you guys before we get to the crappie side of things is if you like to use swim baits, this is our newest bait right here. It's a four inch swim bait in black and blue. We've used it some at the lake already and caught some good fish, but uh, not a whole lot of people have used it yet. But that's something else if you are really into swim baits that you can give a shot. All right guys, now for the crappie baits. We have a lot of different colors for those, and those are definitely our most popular baits here locally because a lot more crappie fishermen around here. But the colors we have for that is blue chartreuse, silver smoke pearl, red chartreuse, monkey milk, neon moon, orange pearl, blue ice, electric chicken, baby bass, and there's definitely a few custom colors as well. If you're interested in that, you can check out the website. But the first crappie bait we're going to show you guys today is the Slab Man. There it is in red chartreuse. And we call it this because it has two little legs and two arms in the body. So it kind of looks like a little man. And there it is up close. It's got great action following for the crappie. Definitely have been a lot of crappie caught on it already and... Our stores, they get stocked up a lot with these baits right here, but you can check that out. The Slab Man on jollybaitcompany.com. And next up for the crappie baits, we have in all nine colors as well, the Green River Grub, like I showed earlier, two and a half inches long, great on a jig head. I love using it even for bass in the creek, like I said earlier, but it's also just great for crappie and a lot of fish have been caught on this too. And last up, we got the crappie minnow and this is your basic crappie bait that a lot of people use if they're using soft plastics for crappie fishing. But the difference in ours is it's 2.3 inches long instead of just two inches or one and a half. And it's basically got the same size body as a lot of different crappie minnows, but the tail is a little bit longer so there's more action when falling. Or if you like to use it shorter, you can easily pinch it off. But I've definitely used this color a whole lot and caught a lot of fish with it this blue chartreuse in the lake that I'm at, but there's a whole lot of different colors for you to choose, different colors of different lakes, or you guys might like just different colors yourself to be more confident with. But here, we're gonna show you guys a few clips. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I was just telling you guys, it's a crappie too, good Lord. Guys, we were, I was, I was done, I was done. As I was saying, how to catch a crappie in February. No, I'm joking. <laughs> what were you doing? I don't know. Yeah. Get this guy back in the water. Finally got a crappie. I was just saying we've got to call her quits. Thank you, sir. That. Another crappie. Awesome. Big one, too, man. Yeah. that's going to be it for today guys i hope you enjoyed learning each one of the baits we have and the colors and just a shout out to natural state fishing for all the clips of fish that they've caught with them and other pro staff members in the video but uh we just thank you guys for watching we also got hats and another apparel if you wanted to buy that but like i said earlier just uh, if you want to try out something new give us a shot you can just check us out at jollybaitcompany.com or if you're local near kentucky in Tennessee there's also some stores we're in you can check out our dealers on the website but that'll be it for today if you guys have got any questions or comments about our baits just let us know that'll be it for today we'll see you guys next time